Hello everyone! Welcome to the review of the pictures which I finished in March. And I can call March as a month of double page spreads. Let's start from Ivy. And one spread which I will show you here, I started in February. I did a right page and I started to do a background on the left page. For the background I used Faber-Castell polychromoses, but for the small details I used Prismas. So in March I finished all small objects on the left page. Maybe it's not of the most interesting pictures in the whole book, but I love that here we have some of the main objects, main characters from the story and I tried to indicate which objects here are the most important and also I tried to make a connection between a text on the picture and the image around it. I tried to use a limited amount of pencils so here I used soft pastels, polychromoses for the background and prisma colors for details. The second spread I colored with Inktense and I love how Inktense added some vintage look to the whole picture due to their muted colors. Also I used this matte acrylic gouache by Turner in olive green color to add some details to the background and I colored all borders using golden paint. For me this spread resembles old pictures from the old medieval books, illuminated manuscripts, so I tried to maintain the spirit. I love how Inktense behave on this paper. And I think that paper in English edition is quite suitable for all water mediums. It was quite easy coloring, but very relaxing. I think that sometimes it's nice just to feel in the small details, not thinking about shading and other things, other challenging colorings. My next project really was challenging. If you are familiar with Night Voyage coloring book by Daria Sung, you know that in this book we have a lot of empty, huge backgrounds. But thanks to my neocolor crayons, I was able to make here these clouds. It took me considerable amount of time but I am quite pleased how it looks in the end. I applied first layer of neon colors and then added some details with my different color softs and I colored all objects with prisma colors. The idea of this coloring came to me during the Chinese New Year, that's why I used red and golden colors for the cranes. I tried to color this book in order and my next project will be even more challenging. But I am happy that I am doing it in order and it's a nice step out of my comfort zone. I am lucky that paper in this book is suitable for water mediums because I wouldn't be able to fill in this background just with regular pencils. I was also glad that in March I returned to Lizzie Mary Cullen's book and I hadn't colored in Magical Journey for some time. For this spread I again used neon colors for the background and for the rest traditional Derwent Ink tents. It was nice just to play with bright colors and for the background on the right page I used one of the brightest greens in the whole neocolor set, which previously I would consider 
totally unusable. My favorite part is this car, of course, and it was fun to color. I think that thanks to the Neo Colors, I will be able to finish a couple of unfinished project, projects in this book, where we have a lot of small details and a big background, which I didn't have enough patience to color with ink tens. Also, in March, I walked in Twilight Garden by Maria Trolle, and again, I did a two pages spread. The first picture I selected because I wanted to color poppies. I tried to color them as realistic as possible, and I also enjoyed coloring fox gloves. And I was quite satisfied with the final result until I hadn't decided to add some kind of the fence on the background. And I think that <laughs> this was not the wise decision. This picture without background looked much better and had better contrasts. But immediately after the first page I decided to do the right one and for the right page I was totally happy both with the process and with the result. I decided to do the background almost similar in colors with leaves and to concentrate the, all the attention to the flowers. Yellow roses are my favorites and I love all variety of yellow roses with addition of some red edges or with orange inner part. So I decided that I put here yellow roses. Butterflies here are not my favorite part, but I love how the blue bluebells added some life touch to this picture. Anyway, I enjoyed coloring it. It's completely colored with prisma colors and they lay down really well on this paper. I even wasn't bored by filling the background with pencils. It was a very meditative process. In the next book, Menoe de Bonheur by Kanoko Yaguza, I managed to finish four pictures, but two of them were quite small. I decided that I wanted to do a couple of tiny projects, which are printed on the last pages here, on the toned paper, and it was really interesting experience. I didn't know that there are no such pages in Dutch edition, but in Japanese edition we have these cute pictures, they are very easy to color, were quick to finish, and I enjoyed coloring on this paper. It was a little bit unusual in the beginning, but in the end I think that it turned out quite well. After a couple of small projects, I did one of the pictures which are my favorites in the whole book. When I got this book, I immediately wanted to color this one, but I was afraid that I won't be able to do all right things on this page and to color the reflection in the mirror and mirror surface. But now I'm feeling quite confident in my coloring skills, so I decided that it's time to do this project. Here I'm happy with everything, and it quickly became one of my favorite finished pictures, which I finished so far. And I did it quite quickly, I think that it took me around 3 hours to finish the whole project. The main challenge was not to get obsessed with all 
objects on the forefront and in this way to lose the attention which have to be concentrated on the cat. But in the end I think that picture look quite well, well balanced. Usually I don't color title pages in the book and I even have a bad habit to test different art supplies on the name pages, on the title pages. But for many debunner I made an exception and in March I did this title page. It was quite fun just to color this group of different objects. I, again, I tried to use as limited amount of pencils as possible. And my main concern about this page was about adding the background. After some doubts, I decided that I want, don't want to add anything here in order not to distract attention from the objects. It's already quite bright and crowded with different objects. Maybe in the future, if I would imagine something, I will add background, but not now. In March I finally started Fairy Lane by Barbara Lanza and I own this coloring book for more than a year already. I selected this pretty spring picture but then I was surprised by quality of the paper and I expressed all my concerns when I commented my coloring process. Paper is quite thin but also soft, so I had a lot of troubles covering paper with my Prisma colors and in the end I also had to use additional set of harder pencils in order to cover everything. But I love the final result, this night picture and this and lily of the valley's fairy. It's just a pity that I can't use any water-based mediums here. I think that for many of the pictures of the projects here, water-based mediums can create a beautiful end results, but I will try to color it with different brands of pencils. I think that polychromoses will lay it down better, so we will see. Another coloring book with not a very easy paper is this College Art by Marty Noble. Traditionally, I color in this book with Prisma colors. And I have to use a lot of my blender burnisher in order to get a smooth coverage. My first finished project is this portrait which was inspired by Alphonse Mucha paintings. And Alphonse Mucha is one of my favorite painters, so I immediately fall in love with this picture. For me this book is quite easy to color because I don't have to think about the background and objects are quite small and so it's easy to do shading and to think about um, light sources, about shadows and so on. The main concern here is how to create well-balanced color composition on the page and I love it. For the second project of March in this book, I decided to switch to polychromoses and it was a huge, huge relief for me. Polychromoses worked miracles on this paper. Just from the one layer I was able to cover paper, they mixed beautifully and they looked so bright on this creamy paper. I decided that all my future projects from this book I will be doing with polychromoses. Again, I tried to use here a limited amount of colors and to do butterflies as bright as possible and to use for the backgrounds 
mm, softer pastel colors. I love this idea of seed packages because it's already springtime and I love gardening and to grow flowers, so this picture was a right choice for March. There were all my finished projects in March. I also have a couple of projects started in Zemlya Snova and I even have this huge two pages spread spread again but i will show you everything when i will finish it i hope that i will be able to finish it in april i enjoyed it but it really took a lot of time to finish such a huge picture from by tamislav tomic another happy moment in march was addition to my coloring book collection and I finally got this book by Jasmine Beckett Griffiths. I fell in love with her girls when I colored couple of pictures in Coloring Haven but I am so happy that now I have a book by Blue Angel Publishers because their books are amazing. I love paper here book is really heavy. I even like love the cover here. In this book I am able to work with all mediums from watercolors to all color pencils and I really love selection of images here from Halloween images to fairy tales. My main disappointment was that one of my favorite paintings of Mary Masquerade was printed as a small picture. I followed Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Instagram and I'm glad that in this book we have included pictures from her book about vampires. So I'm happy with this book for 200 persons. I, and I'm so eager to start coloring in it. That was all. Maybe I don't have a lot of projects finished in March, but I feel that I started April with a lot of energy and a lot of inspiration. So I hope to see you in my future videos during April. And I thank you for watching.